Uh, I'm pleased to take part in this debate, and I thank those organizations for their useful briefings in advance of the debate, including Viridor, the Scottish Retail Consortium, Sainsbury's, and the Packaging Recycling Group of Scotland. There are also both current pressures and real challenges ahead for businesses working within the waste management sector and barriers that prevent other companies being able to take actions that are part of the circular economy. I'm delighted that Viridor, which works with 96% of Scottish local authorities, has announced £357 million pounds of Scottish investment in the last 18 months as part of an overall investment package of £500 million in Scotland. Viridor are, however, quite correct to warn that the declines in the value of commodities on global markets presents a very big challenge sustaining progress made to date and achieving the 2020 tar sector targets. In addition, they highlight that the UK's recycling technology and systems are ageing rapidly and that a new economic realism is required if we are to make further progress. Ministers need to heed these stark warnings from Viridor and address these concerns. But I also heard Jamie McGregor's comments from Viridor and the concerns they're raising around infrastructure. And I would like at this point to mention Viridor and the Engineering Development Trust, who every year do schools competitions, which East Co Pride schools uh, perform very, very well in. And it's about translating zero waste policy into practice and coming up with really, really good projects. Quick mention for Calder Glen High School, um, who won the Lanarkshire Heat of the Company's Go For Set competition this year, and I look forward to supporting them in the final very, very soon. Thank you. I think in terms of progress today, I think we could all agree that there's more knowledge, more expertise, and more progress in the business community, whether it's retailing or whether it's the waste management issue itself. But I think we have had some warnings. I think the Viridor, um, the Viridor uh, briefing gave it uh, quite bleak terms. It said, we face a stark choice, further success or substantial failure. And they suggest that recycling and recovery have been real UK success stories to date, but that there's not an institutionalised model. It's not across all industries. It's not being done by everybody. And that there's a potential that we actually stall or even reverse sharply backwards. So that suggestion that we need a new economic model. I go back to that first point. Those of us in the room who have become converted, we need to be joined by all of our colleagues. And it would be good to have that debate within the parties to make sure that everybody signed up to, to this agenda. Viridor, of course, sent out a briefing to all members for this debate. And of course, they actually said, because things are moving forward, they've announced £357 million worth of Scottish investment in the last 18 months. That includes, for instance, the UK's most advanced glass recycling facility at Newhouse in Lanarkshire, bringing 30 full-time jobs uh, and, of course, processing glass collected from 17 Scottish councils. So we get this right. This is real jobs being created in communities across Scotland. So that's why it's really important the 32 local authorities work together on this, as they're now beginning to do with the Scottish Government.